Hello and welcome to Spencer's Library. Today, from a slightly different part of my office, this is my TBR and I'm going to be organising that today because while this is nowhere near as big and extensive as some other people's TBR, I don't like how it's just random and unorganised. Now, my bookshelf for my red books is organised alphabetically by author, but for my TBR, I'm going to sort it by genre and type of book because when it comes to picking my next book, I'll be able to see the different types of book that I have and then decide based on my reading mood and what I want to read next. So I'm going to create different piles for different book genres and book types and you are about to see a sped up montage of that now. <laughs> Here we go, here are the sorted piles. So from left to right we have poetry and poetry related books. The biggest pile is 19th and 18th century classics. Moving on to 20th century classics, non-fiction books, historical fiction, general fiction and crime fiction, and then science fiction and fantasy over on the right. Let's go through the books one by one. Now, since I haven't got any bookends, my books are being held up by some weighty library books here on the left. And let's start with the poetry and poetry related books. The first one is Rapture by Carol Ann Duffy. The second volume of collected poems by Bertolt Brecht in German. Then we've got a, a little old collection of Goethe poems. And I've got The Ode Less Travelled by Stephen Fry, which is a guide to reading poetry. Those go all the way to the left. Then, for the biggest pile, which is 18th and 19th century classics, there is uh, Das Fräulein von Scudery by E.T.A. Hoffmann. This is an early 19th century classic. The Tenant of Wildfell Hall by Anne Bronte. Then this is a reading guide to Das Fräulein von Scudery, so I'll put it right next to it. Oh. This should go with the poems. There's some more Goethe poems, so I'll put that over here to the left. Gulliver's Travels by Jonathan Swift. Three novels by the Bronte sisters. This is falling apart already. Uh, there is Robin Hood by Henry Gilbert. Oliver Twist by Charles Dickens. A very early 20th century German translation of The Picture of Dorian Gray by Oscar Wilde. Actually, this shouldn't be on my TBR because I'm not planning to read this particular German edition of it. I mean, I like having it. It's a very early translation from, I believe, the 1920s. And I'm going to keep this, but I don't think it belongs on my TBR, so let's put this away. Um, I have The Phantom of the Opera by Gaston Leroux in German. I have The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn by Mark Twain. Persuasion by Jane Austen and Northanger Abbey by Jane Austen. And now for the modern classics, I have Lord of the Flies by William Golding, Brighton Rock by Graham Greene, Der Zauberberg by Thomas Mann, Rebecca by Daphne du Maurier and A Clockwork Orange by Anthony Burgess. Next we get to the non-fiction pile. There is Tilly, the Ugliest Cat in the Shelter by Celia Haddon, Freddie Mercury by Peter Freestone with David Evans, English Social History by G. M. Trevelyan. This is a book on English social history from the 1940s. Das inoffizielle Harry Potter Kochbuch by Dina Buchholz. So this is an um, unofficial Harry Potter recipe book. Then we get to well, frankly, I'm assuming that this is historical fiction. I think it might both be historical romance. There's The White Witch by Elizabeth Gouge, 
And The Sixth Wife by Jean Plady, which is, I believe, a historical novel from the 1950s. Yes. Next we get to the general fiction, crime fiction and thrillers. Minerva, don't you dare knock any of these over. There is uh, the number one day's detective agency by Alexander McCall Smith. There's Altus Land by Dörte Hansen. There's Minerva. The Boy in the Striped Pyjamas by John Boyne. Gilead by Marilyn Robinson. Gian Ging Gang by Jenny Erpenbeck. Minerva, you're really in the way. Autumn by Ali Smith. I Let You Go by Claire McIntosh. Actually, that shouldn't be on my TBR either because I have read this. So let's put this away. And finally, there's Pictures at an Exhibition by D.M. Thomas. Do you mind, Minervi? Can I? Is that okay? Am I allowed to put that there? And getting to the last pile on here, this is Science Fiction and Fantasy. There's The Book of Dust by Philip Pullman. Four books by Terry Pratchett, that's Witches Abroad, Masquerade, Reaper Man, and Pyramids. And finally, Marco Polo. I was going to say Marco Polo by Doctor Who. It's Marco Polo, a Doctor Who novel by John Lucarotti. Now I just need to get my second pile of library books to hold this side up. And then that's my TBR done. So this is what it looks like. Minerva modelling my newly organised TBR. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.